Welcome to another Base Bellagio Stalker Gamma video. This is going to be an install guide. There are much more in-depth and detailed guides for this game are ready to install it on YouTube. They're like 20 minute videos. My goal with this one is I'm trying to make it a little bit quicker. It all starts with the Discord. Make sure you have it because at the end of the day, you need this right here. Information changes on a weekly basis of how many active mods you need to have loaded. That's how you know if your game's gonna start or not. If it says 336 mods and you have 335, your game's not gonna work. You need 70 free gigabytes. Uh, I definitely recommend an SSD with this game and mod pack. You will need 7-Zip, not WinRAR. You need 7-Zip, download it. You need the original Stalker Anomaly. Stalker Anomaly 151. So you download this from ModDB. I will have a link in description. When that's done downloading, you need to download this. Stalker Anomaly 151 to 152. It's an update for the mod. Once that's downloaded, you need to download Gamma Client one of these mirrors have that downloaded and then download the gamma add-ons pack one of these mirrors they are recommending you disable your antivirus or otherwise add exceptions for anomaly and gamma folders before starting bitdefender will 100 percent crash the game randomly so if you have like crazy antiviruses on your computer nobody uses those nowadays okay first of all windows defender is all you need i didn't have to do anything with windows defender Okay, create two different folders at root drives. It has to be like the C drive, the D drive, not deep buried. And it cannot be in the downloads, program files, documents, or desktop. Okay, it has to be, for instance, C drive gamma. Let me show you what mine looks like. This is my SSD for gaming, and I have just anomaly. As soon as you click on the SSD, these are the folders. I have anomaly, and I have gamma. I did not even name my gamma properly. Somehow it's working. Follow these guys right here. So make yours gamma, make yours anomaly. I, I made the anomaly one proper. Okay. Now you go into extract stalker anomaly 151 using 7-zip in a new folder. The one you made, the anomaly one. You're going to move the patch that you downloaded 152 to the anomaly folder. Right click on archive, extract here using 7-zip. It'll look like this when it's all done. Changes to 151, you know. You're and you're updating everything. You're gonna say replace files because you're copying over the files. You're gonna launch 152, okay? You just have to launch it once. Then you're gonna extract your gamma stuff using 7-zip into the new folder you made. Open the newly extracted gamma folder and then move your add-ons download 7-zip in there right click it and extract here using 7-zip this will fill gamma with all the download stuff that you need data errors may occur for few add-ons during the extraction it's perfectly normal continue as intended go to gamma your your folder grox mod pack installer folder okay so look you have your drive you go to gamma in here is the grox mod pack installer okay this is what it's going to look like and you're going to right click and launch as admin you always do this for this installer. I, I, even when I do uh, add-ons, I do this, okay? Inside the installer, let me show you what it looks like. You are going to allow PowerShell scripts. This is really the only time you're ever going to have to do this for the first install. You're going to click Launch MO2. You're going to ignore the error message and click Browse and show the anomaly folder that you created, what drive it's in. Then exit MO2. You exit this whole thing. Then you click on this button here, update gamma download. It's going to go through a process. It might take some time, but at the end, it'll say done on the bottom. Then you're going to click on full gamma installation. This is where everybody gets twisted up and tongue tied. First, you want to select a, a server that you're close to, either North America or European Union. Okay. And then you click on full gamma install. This can take a long time. Because you're downloading 336 mods automatically from ModDB. It took me a full 24 hours because I downloaded this in the height 
of the Drewski wave of all people coming to play this game and downloading it. So right now, I don't think Mod DB is as congested as it was. So it might take you shorter, but you want to, you're going to keep pressing. Like after it stops, it might say done. You want to do it till you have 336 mods. And you'll know you have 336 mods. I'll show you in a minute. And they're giving you a tip here. You can launch a new desktop by pressing Windows key plus tab. And then click the new desktop at the top and move the installer over there. Because this installer always stays on the very top. It blocks everything on your monitor. And if you need to close the installer during the process, it will resume where it left next time you launch it. Very great feature. When the process is finished, close the installer, go to your desktop, double click on Gamma Shortcut. An error message should appear, click OK. You should have 336 mods in this window right here. It'll say 336. The reason why mine says 339 is because I have optional mods enabled. Okay, but that's different. You're gonna have 336. If it says any other number, you need to keep reinstalling pressing the reinstall button until when you get here it says 336 or at the time of you watching this video on the discord this might say something different they update this whenever they do major you know changes this might be 335 it might be 338 it could be 400 i'm just making up so just keep an eye on that if you've done everything successful you are playing the game and you are able to then watch my performance guide which I will link up in the top right corner of this video so you get the best performance of the game. And that should help people. The key takeaways is naming your, your drives. You're not burying these in your documents, your program files. This has to be just in a drive, D drive, anomaly, gamma. I even messed this up. Follow the guide, make, make yours to say gamma. And then if you follow the rest of this, you'll be playing this in no time. If you want a more in-depth guide to this, you definitely want to check out some of the guides that are posted on the Discord. But I hope this helped you and got some of your friends playing this game quicker. People that don't really mod, don't want to play around with files. This is pretty straightforward, pretty easy. All you have to be good at is extracting files and naming folders. Thank you for watching this video. Comment down below if you have any questions and I will answer them in the video. Peace out.